In this video, I'm going to review three new light modifiers from iFootage. These are for no lenses, and then that is an intensifier. Before we jump into it, this is a sponsored review. If you'd like to learn more about that, that's down in the description, all the information you need to know. Let's start with the features of each of these intensifiers. First, we have the Bones Mount Fresnel. Because it's Bones Mount, it means it can fit any Bones Mount light, not just iFootage's lights. It has a 12 to 40 degree beam angle, which you achieve by twisting. My particular unit came with a barn door and grid system. That way you can further refine the light. I'm not entirely sure if all of them will come with this, but it is the standard barn door and grid, so you could always pick up one off Amazon. I will link that down below, along with all of these, if you're interested in making a purchase. Lastly, it does not come with a case, it just comes inside of a box with some foams. If you're looking to travel with it, it might be a little bit tricky. Next up, we have the Mini Bowens Mount Fresnel Lens. This one's designed for iFootage's Mini Bowens Mount. I'm not entirely sure if there are other Mini Bowens Mount lights out there by other brands, so you do have to kind of keep that in mind that this one is, works more with iFootage's specific lights. The beam angle for this one is 8 to 35 degrees. And just like the other one, mine came with a barn door and grid system. And once again, no case, just comes in a box with some foam. Next up is the mini intensifier. I have it here on this iFootage light, so it only fits the mini Bowens mount lights from iFootage once again. This intensifier, which is not a Fresnel lens by the way, comes with a barn door, no grid, and the barn door has a few extra pieces that kind of slide around so you get a little bit more control out of these particular barn doors. The beam angle on this intensifier is 15 to 50 degree beam angle. Once again, it does not come with a case, just a small box with some foam. However, it is a small light, so obviously it's very travel friendly. You could just kind of chuck it in a bag, take it with you. Next, you might be wondering, how bright do these all get? How much are they actually increasing the intensity or the brightness of the light that you use it on? So I've gone ahead and tested that using my Siconic spectrometer. What I've done is I've used the iFootage lights that I have, measured it with its included reflector, and then I swapped out the reflector for the Fresnel and or intensifier, depending on which light. So at this point, you might be wondering like, what is the real difference between a Fresnel and the intensifier? Like, what are you getting as far as a different effect? I think the best way to explain is just to show you the shadow cast that each of these have. So basically you have an object, the Fresnel is hitting it, and then it casts a shadow, say on the wall. How crisp is that shadow? Now, Fresnel lenses are not intended to give crisp edges. They are designed to give a bit of a softer edge, but keep it intact. So you don't get any weird patterning or anything like that. That's the idea behind a Fresnel lens. A reflector, what you typically get when you buy a light, will have a sharper edge. So I've gone ahead and included that here in the shadow test lineup. Hopefully this gives you a better idea of the reason why you'd use a Fresnel over a reflector. I do wanna take a quick second to talk about the build quality. These are made just like any typical Fresnel lens. They're about the same weight and they're made out of the pretty much the same materials. I have the Aperture Fresnel lens. I'm not including it in this uh, review currently. So if you're interested in me kind of talking about that later, I'll make a separate video. However, uh, the materials and the, the build quality are all pretty much exactly the same. So you might be wondering, what are the practical uses for the Fresnel lens and or the intensifier? The main reason that people like to use these obviously is to get more light out of your lights. So say you purchased a rather inexpensive light, say like this little 130 watt one from iFootage. You know, 130 watts is not bad, but there are gonna be times that you might need a brighter light. Maybe you're trying to replicate the sun. Maybe you're trying to get certain shadows or you need a, a harsher backlight. So a brighter light is sometimes needed, but maybe you don't have the budget for it. So you could always pick up a Fresnel lens and increase it by two, three, four times the brightness that your light normally has. So a lot of people like to use it just for that reason. The other thing is, is people like to use these as a backlight, sometimes an edge light through a window. So whenever you're going through something like another piece of glass, or maybe you've got uh, some sheer curtains in front of it and you want to replicate the sun, but the sun's not shining into that particular window and you need it nice and bright to kind of resemble the sun, most people are picking up Fresnel lenses. They're cheap and they get a lot of intensity. They travel. And the other thing is you can change the beam angle. So maybe you really want a really saturated, bright, you know, direct point, but not so harsh. Like it's not pinpoint, right? So that, that nice roll off that Fresnel lenses are known for on the edges. So being able to change the beam angle from a wider one to a narrower one, getting less or more intensity out of it as well, 
is one of the more attractive reasons to have a Fresnel lens. Now, speaking of roll off, I did want to just quickly note that all of these have the traditional Fresnel roll off. Even the intensifier has a pretty good roll off. So here's a quick little comparison amongst them. So you can see the roll off on the edges of the Fresnel so that you can see how soft it is. Now I haven't talked too much about the mini intensifier here, just designed only for eye footage lights. And I really think that one is pretty unique and very useful because of its small compact size and that, you know, you get little barn doors even for it makes it really travel friendly. And not to mention that this light already is pretty travel friendly. I do think this particular modifier, the little mini intensifier, really does add a lot of value to that light purchase. So if you either already have the light or if you're considering a small, compact and bright light, 130 watt light that you can now stick an intensifier on and get a lot more brightness out of, you know, that soft roll off, barn doors, you can do creative stuff, kind of like what I'm doing in the background. As you can see, I've got this slash of light using the barn doors that can help bring a little bit of interest, you know, to that part of the background or wherever it is I have it pointed. So really, it's a really unique way to get some creative control if that's what you're looking for without purchasing something like a spotlight attachment, which if you don't know what that is, I do have an entire video going over like all of the modifiers that are out there. So you might wanna check that out afterwards. My final thoughts on all of these are is that these two Fresnel lenses, there's nothing really to write home about. You know, there's nothing like wow about them. There's nothing super spectacular. I mean, they're very classic and they're just cheaper than what kind of already exists out there. They're pretty much the same, they're just from my footage. I know that sounds awful, but I'm just giving you my honest thoughts. I think what's most interesting and excites me the most is this little mini intensifier, primarily based just on its size and that it, you know, goes obviously with a small little light. So it has that compact nature. I think it would be really neat if iFootage had an even more compact light that it worked with in the future, um, as it would be a really perfect package to take on the run. But otherwise, I mean, it really, they just are Fresnel lenses. That's, it's hard to get excited about, you know, just a piece of glass and some plastic. <laughs> but if you do have any questions or I missed something that you're, you're wanting to know, ask me down in the comments. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.